Hi, I'm John Larson, technical trainer for EpiRock USA Surface and Exploration Drilling. Today we're going to be talking about a pre-shift inspection on FlexiRock D60 and D65 models. To begin with the inspection, we need to use our key to unlock the service panel. Behind here we'll find our electrical box. We're going to just open that up real quick, make sure all the components are in there, nothing that looks damaged or worn, and we don't have any dust inclusions that would prevent proper operation. Here at the rear panel, when we open it up, we'll be able to check our hydraulic oil level. Anywhere in this top sight glass is a good level. We have our rock drill oil. We have the three sight glasses here as well. Our fuel water separator. Air cleaner for the compressor assembly. Make sure there's, that's all in good working order. And here we have our pre-separator tank. The level indicator is here. Low and high will be red. Green will be a satisfactory level on, on the indicator. Our pre-separator tank we want to drain daily to make sure that there's no water in the system. To do that, we need to open up this panel here. And we have a valve down here. Below it is a cap. We're going to drain the valve, open the valve until you see just a slight amount of oil coming out. Close that back off. Close the door back up. And we're ready to move on to the next side of the machine. Here at the back of the machine, we have our water tank for the water mist operation. Level indicators, just like the hydraulic tank. We have our backup camera, the backup alarm, and the strobe light. Make sure they're in good working order, as well as any hydraulic lines, the fans, all the blades are on there. There's no leaks, drips, or damage to the machine. Here on the non-cab side of the machine, we have our reservoir for the DEF fluid. Be sure that's full. Here we have our dust collector system with the uh, dust collector filters inside. Make sure there's no oil, no major damage, anything of that nature on this side. We have our oil level check. Here's our oil fill. Check the oil level before starting the machine. And way back tucked up inside of there, we have the level indicator for our coolant for the engine. Moving forward, we have our engine air filter assembly, valve blocks, electrical. Make sure there's no leaks, damage to the wires, anything that could cause an issue during the day. Here we'll note the tracks on this side of the machine and the other side of the machine to make sure there's no excessive sag in the tracks. If they need to be tensioned, we'll open that inspection cover right there and put a couple of pumps of grease in there to make the tension correct. Here we have our fuel filler. Be sure to top that off daily. Level indicator will be on the screen inside the cab. Our main boom bulkhead, check for leaks, damage to the hoses, anything of that nature. Down here we have our central lubrication system. Be sure that's full every day. Here at the front of the machine out on the feed assembly, we're gonna inspect all of our hosing, the breakout table for any damage to the jaws, the winch controls, dust pot. We have our rod grippers here and carousel. The front doghouse, check for any leaks, drips, stuff of that nature. Make sure our safety cable is intact. The feed motor. Anything that needs adjustment or repair to note on your daily inspection list. Here at the front of the machine, we're gonna inspect all the glass for any chips, cracks, or damage. We'll inspect the level of the washer fluid reservoir and the spray grease tank for our threads on the drill pipe. We're also gonna check lights for any cracks, damage, and for function. Now that we've completed our pre-shift inspection, we can close all the door panels making note and we're ready to turn on the battery switch and start the machine. If you need any further assistance, please contact your local EpiRock service center or dealer in your area.